SLS my subjects for student so typically how when you log into SLS you should look some you should see something like this the my subject page is not found here uh, instead it is found on this three dot on the top right corner then you invoke the three dot and you can see my subjects so this my subject was all originally available in R14 now they brought it back in R16 so in this case uh, this is a mock-up so the student is not assigned any uh, subjects from the school cockpit data so it's blank now but as a student i may want to be self-directed let's say i i learn i mean sec 4 and then i'm very interested to learn more about physics in the uh, pre-u level so i can actually do a follow so this will be like maybe i'm in primary i mean sec 4 physics you know then here i want to do my own follow subjects so the way to do it is you click on my follow and then you select uh, let's say for mock-up i find H2 physics, okay. I find H2 physics, then I find pre U. Let's say I want interested in pre U1, okay. Then I click apply. Then you can see that this is already there, so I can actually follow it. So I can follow it. I can follow it. Then once I follow it, you will see that it appears in this follow subject over here. So I can actually very quickly search for resources quickly here. So let's say this is actually a mock up of. H2 physics and then I can search for resources okay then it will bring you the new enhanced look of the global search so the the trick is here you can also view the content map so of which from the content map it's like the syllabus the content map you can actually select targeted uh, learning objectives so let's say the learning objectives can be here and here and all that so this is the going to be the future look and feel then you search then you will come up with a, a new uh, interface for the global search with this new 20 topics selected for this subject and then uh, this is a mock-up so doesn't have anything but the actual SS the production server the can actually show up correctly this particular effect so the the same trick is applied so you click on filter you don't do basic search but you do a search by topic and then you can actually select the the syllabus over here that this is like the content map la, oh, the content map equivalent and then i can select the learning objective so maybe say i am doing my own self-directed learning and then uh, over the many weeks i've learned uh, all these various topics already and i'm uh, on to this thing called the conservation of momentum so i select all these topics and then i see i apply and then i see what moe library has shown up for me so I can see that if for this topic I can see two and then I can self attempt the lesson. So in this self attempt lesson you can see there are activities you can do, quizzes. So this is like a, a simulation that you can do uh, different inquiry lah. Okay. So coming back to the R sixteen. Okay. So this is the content map. So this potentially it provides a new way of uh, making it more obvious for the student to select from the content map what are the learning objectives and then search for the resources there's also something that is very exciting uh, which is called the learning progress so the learning progress if i click on this uh, it will be blank uh, but it looks something like this um, the whole basis of this is now the idea of you can actually get student to do their own self-study so let's say I follow uh, a particular topic, particular subject, a particular level that of my choice, either it be assigned or be followed. I can see via the, the learning objectives in the content map, all the various marks that have been awarded. Lah. Okay. So then I can see also by topic, by month. So this will then show the frequency of the usage and then the questions. Okay. So this is a mock-up so I'm going to switch over to a teacher view to show you how it can possibly look like okay of course bearing in mind this is a mock-up so the the content map the learning progress could look something like this okay so this could show like a donut kind of a thing to show you the awarded marks and the total marks so it depends on what the teacher has included into the questions and then I can actually see the by content map that this is the percentage of the coverage of the marks that I have gotten for different content. Okay, for different content, then these are the, the weighting 
the marks awarded and the total mark and then the percentage of this which is this number divided by this number to get the percentage so it's, it's going to be a very ex exciting way of uh, being able to see your own learning progress so this is like a month so for example in the month of june i can see in the month of may i this is what i have uh, i have i've managed to to eat to interact with the content and then this is the maximum possible and then you know as as june come then there were more content added but this is what i have done and then this is the maximum marks and then i can also see uh, by student this this one you won't see as a student but this is for the teacher 